bleed air produced by gas turbine engines is compressed air that is taken from the compressor stage of those engines, which is upstream of the fuel burning sections. In modern airliner engines, two regulator valves turn on and off automatically and are controlled by at least two air supply and cabin pressure controllers which open and close appropriate valves. Engine bleed air comes from the high stage or low stage engine compressor section. Low stage air is used during high power setting operation and high stage air is used during descent and other low power setting operations. Bleed air from that system can be used for internal cooling of the engine, cross starting another engine, engine and airframe anti icing, cabin pressurization, pneumatic actuators, air driven motors, pressurizing the hydraulic reservoir, waste and water storage tanks. Some engine maintenance manuals refer to such systems as customer bleed air. Bleed air is valuable in an aircraft for two properties, high temperature and high pressure, for regulated bleed air exiting the engine pylon for use throughout the aircraft. Uses In civil aircraft, bleed air's primary use is to provide pressure for the aircraft cabin by supplying air to the environmental control system. Additionally, Bleed air is used to keep critical parts of the aircraft ice free. Bleed air is used on many aircraft systems because it is easily available, reliable, and a potent source of power. For example, bleed air from an airplane engine is used to start the remaining engines. Lavatory water storage tanks are pressurized by bleed air that is fed through a pressure regulator. When used for cabin pressurization, the bleed air from the engine must first be cooled by passing it through an air-to-air -air heat exchanger cooled by cold outside air. It is then fed to an air cycle machine unit which regulates the temperature and flow of air into the cabin, keeping the environment comfortable. Bleed air is also used to heat the engine intakes. This prevents ice from accumulating, breaking loose, and being ingested by the engine, possibly damaging it. On aircraft powered by jet engines, a similar system is used for wing anti-icing by the hot wing method. In icing conditions, water droplets condensing on a wing's leading edge can freeze. If that happens, the ice buildup adds weight and changes the shape of the wing, causing a degradation in performance, and possibly a critical loss of control or lift. To prevent this, hot bleed air is pumped through the inside of the wing's leading edge, heating it to a temperature above freezing, which prevents the formation of ice. The air then exits through small holes in the wing edge. On propeller-driven aircraft, it is common to use bleed air to inflate a rubber boot on the leading edge, breaking the ice loose after it has already formed. Bleed air from the high-pressure compressor of the engine is used to supply reaction control valves as used for part of the flight control system in the Harrier jump jet family of military aircraft. Contamination On rare occasions, Bleed air used for air conditioning and pressurization can be contaminated by chemicals such as oil or hydraulic fluid. This is known as a fume event. While those chemicals can be irritating, such rare events have not been established to cause long-term harm. Certain neurological and respiratory ill health effects have been linked anecdotally to exposure to bleed air that has been alleged to have been contaminated to toxic levels on commercial and military aircraft. This alleged long-term illness is referred to as aerotoxic syndrome by agenda groups, but it is not a medically recognized syndrome. One alleged potential contaminant is tracresyl phosphate. A number of lobbying groups have been set up to advocate for research into this alleged hazard. The groups include the Aviation Organophosphate Information Site, the Global Cabin Air Quality Executive and the UK-based Aerotoxic Association. Cabin environment research is one of many functions of the ASA group, but no causal relationship has yet been established by their researchers. Although a study made for the EU in 2014 confirmed that contamination of cabin air can be a problem, that study also stated, A lot of reported fume events caused comfort limitations for the occupants but posed no danger. A verification of cabin air contamination with toxic substances was not possible with the fume events the BFU investigated. In spite of the fact that no science evidence to date has ever found that airliner cabin air has been contaminated to toxic levels, a court in Australia, in March 2010, 
found in favor of a former airline flight attendant who claimed she suffered chronic respiratory problems after being exposed to oil fumes on a flight in March 1992, even though she was able to continue working as a flight attendant and in other jobs for over 10 years after that alleged exposure in 1991. Bleedless aircraft, bleed air systems have been in use for several decades in passenger jets. Recent improvements in solid-state electronics have enabled pneumatic power systems to be replaced by electric power systems. In a bleedless aircraft such as the Boeing 787, each engine has two variable-frequency electrical generators to compensate for not providing compressed air to external systems. Eliminating bleed air and replacing it with extra electric generation is believed to provide a net improvement to engine efficiency, lower weight and easier maintenance equals benefits equals a bleedless aircraft achieves fuel efficiency by eliminating the process of compressing and decompressing air and by reducing the aircraft's mass due to the removal of ducts valves heat exchangers and other heavy equipment the apu does not need to supply bleed air when the main engines are not operating aerodynamics are improved due to the lack of bleed air vent holes on the wings by driving cabin air supply compresses at the minimum required speed, no energy wasting modulating valves are required. High temperature, high pressure air cycle machine packs can be replaced with low temperature, low pressure packs to increase efficiency. At cruise altitude, where most aircraft spend the majority of their time and burn the majority of their fuel, the ACM packs can be bypassed entirely, saving even more energy. Since no bleed air is taken from the engines for the cabin, the potential of engine oil contamination of the cabin air supply is eliminated. Lastly, advocates of the design say it improves safety as heated air is confined to the engine pod, as opposed to being pumped through pipes and heat exchangers in the wing and near the cabin, where a leak could damage surrounding systems. Equals trade-offs equals, in the 787, Cabin air enters from under the fuselage and is compressed as required. De-icing is achieved by electric thermal blankets in the wing. Hydraulic pumps for flaps, slats, speed brakes and other control surfaces are also powered electrically. Eliminating bleed air increases the electric load, as cabin pressurization, anti-ice de-ice systems, and other functions need to be powered electrically instead. This necessitates an increased size of electrical generators as well as higher wattage power distribution boards and more sophisticated backup and control systems. See also, cabin pressurization, environmental control system, aerotoxic syndrome, ice protection system. References